Hi guys, I'm uh, Damien Geraldin, kite designer at Nash Kiteboarding uh, over on Maui and uh, we're here in England with uh, King of Water Sports guys here uh, and I'm going to present you the new uh, boat. Uh, the boat this year is a totally new kite but it's based on uh, two kites we had last year. Uh, we had the Colt and the Helix last year, the two Sigma kites and I uh, realized that uh, we could just have one kite because uh, what you're really looking for when you get a Sigma kite is the, uh, the stability and uh, we didn't have two kites for that, so this year we took the great features of the cult, which was uh, the deep power, the, the stability, the high-end control, and the easiness and the bar feel, and combined with the, the fast turning and the grunt and low-end power of the helix. So all that combined together make that kite and really gets the best of those two kites from last year. And uh, you, I mean, you can feel it if you've flown both two kites last year and you fly that one. Uh, you definitely feel like it's really the best of everything. Uh, the way we the way we got there was by keeping the, sig the Sigma structure and um, keeping the Geotech construction down here on the wingtip so you get a really good uh, high wind control because it's not fluttering at all. But here in the center area, uh, we've done a, kind of a mixed construction, a hybrid construction somehow, uh, where it's not Geotech 100%. You can see here there's a extra uh, loose uh, material and what you get out of that is uh, you get a lot of uh, uh, a lot more power in the low end so you get the low end power in the center of the kite and then you get the high wind control with the wingtips and that's how we get to, uh, to that kite that's uh, really the best of those two kites from last year and uh, just one thing about the Sigma why would you buy a Sigma kite is for those people looking for a super stable kite in the air uh, the, way, the way Sigma works is that there's no extra material here in the front so when you shit out, there's no weight here in the front. So even though the wind is gusty and shifty, the kite doesn't want to fall back, fall like out of the sky. And that makes that makes for a super stable kite. And people really appreciate that. I think in wave riding, uh, because you cannot move and don't want to deal with your kite too much, so that you can just like let it sit. Don't have to worry about it and focus on your riding. And um, but if you're also just riding in kind of like gusty condition, not just yeah. wave riding, that kite's great because it's going to handle the gusty condition like we get in a lot of places in Europe, like here, and it's going to make it feel like it's just some steady wind. So um, the boat is really an easy wave, free ride kite, really easy to, to get on it, and uh, this year, compared to last year's call to Helix, definitely a big improvement because it's really the best of those two. So uh, if you want to have fun, like free riding, wave riding and want and look for a really stable kite in the air, the boat's your answer.